Poor diets are causing more deaths than smoking. Every year, over 11 million people die simply because they aren't eating healthy. And while most of us struggle to stop eating unhealthy, calorie-rich diets, researchers found that it may not entirely be our fault. Instead, it may be something we're wired to do. When it comes to eating healthy food, it turns out that it's not really about what you are eating, it's also about what you are not eating. While having too much processed meat or sugary drinks in your diet isn't great, it's worse if you don't have enough whole grains, nuts, and fruit in your diet as well. What are the consequences of eating an unhealthy diet, and why can't you just stop eating super tasty, calorie-rich foods, even though you know you've eaten enough? Why is it so hard to just kick the habit? Researchers evaluated the consumption of food and nutrients across 195 countries from 1990 to 2017. They tracked trends of 15 food categories such as fruits, milk, vegetables, red and processed meats, and nutrients like sodium, omega-3 fats, and calcium. Consumption of healthier foods such as nuts, seeds, milk, and whole grains was on average too low and people consumed too many sugary drinks and too much processed meat and salt. These findings were consistent across the entire globe. In fact, people are only consuming 12% of the recommended nut intake and 23% of the recommended whole grain intake. On the other hand, people are drinking more than 10 times the recommended amount of sugary drinks and almost double the recommended amount of processed meat. The main culprit that is putting 11 million us into an early grave each year is consuming too much salt. About 10 million out of the 11 million diet-related deaths were because of cardiovascular disease, and that explains why salt is such a problem. Too much salt raises blood pressure, and that in turn raises the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Cancers and type 2 diabetes made up the rest of the diet-related deaths. Among 195 countries studied, the proportion of diet-related deaths is highest in Uzbekistan and lowest in Israel. The United States ranked 43rd, while Britain was 23rd, China sat at 140th, and India sat at 118th. Again, poor diet is causing more deaths than smoking, and researchers have found out why we can't resist eating more than we should in one sitting. Scientists discovered a brain circuit found in mammal brains that appears to be linked to our urge to overeat high-calorie foods. This overeating circuit, which is present in mammal brains, begins in the emotion processing region of the brain called the amygdala. And it overrides signals that tell us to stop eating and instead drives us to continue long after we are full. The combination of this wiring and the fact that there is so much high-calorie food available to us now has resulted in an obesity epidemic. But if everyone has this brain circuitry, then why are some people more prone to obesity than others? That's a great question and a topic of discussion for another video. Mm -hmm.